Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Friday afternoon, March the 9th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race 5 to 19 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three year rolls and up race for a claiming prize of some $57,000. Contenders number four, Rufino, number one, Diamond District. Number three, with a cape, and number five, quietism. Number four, Rufino, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. The overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt, has produced a trio of power run board hits in his last five, goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of David Cohen and David Jacobson in his corner. They fit the board with 61% of their entry saddles as a team to date. Number one, Diamond District has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five adventures, hitting the board in three, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Jockey Samuel Camacho was in his arms for those two wins, which produced a positive 435% return on investment in the process. He's back today for his third ride, gunning for a hat-trick win. Race 5 summary, number 4, Rafino tops my contenders list, which also includes number 1, Diamond District, number 3, with a cape, and number 5, Quietism, 4135, and the 5th from Aqueduct. Gulfstream Park, race 3, 2.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 8.5 furlong route test on the turf, Phillies and Mares, 4 years old and up, race for a starter allowance, purse of some $39,000. Contenders number six, do I look fat in these? Number five, Academa Cien. Number nine, love this kitten. And number one, Ventania. Number six, do I look fat in these? The overall speed leader in this allowance field, racing at or about eight and a half for lunks on the turf, has turned in power run performances and five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those outings, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Kent DeSormo was in her irons for those three wins, which produced a positive 235% return on investment in the process. Is back today gunning for a grand slam win. Number five, Academic Cien, a 5 to 1 shot, is at the board in three of her last four starts overall. Two of those efforts also qualifying as power runs. Race three summary number six, Do I Look Fat in Knees, tops the contenders list, which also includes number five. Academa CN, number nine, love this kitten, and number one, then Tanya, six five nine one in the third from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Mountaineer Park race five, number eight. Helene is my mom, eight to one in the morning line, drops in class by six track master units. Nice overall speed for the six furlong sprint. Turf Paradise, race five, the four to one shot, number two. Lonely and free, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at or about today's distance of seven and one half furlongs on the turf. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Friday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.